you know, you lose a good person in Jeff Ward. You know, um, I've I've known him for the last 14 years of my life, and he's been a big part of my success. And you know, uh, personally, he's a big part of kind of you know rejuvenating rejuvenating my career and make you know getting me going again. And and I had a lot of fun again um, playing for him. And so from that standpoint, it sucks when you lose a great person like that, but. You know, when, when your team is inconsistent and your team's not playing well, you know, things like this happens. That's the that's the nature of the business, nature of the sport. And, you know, he takes the fall for our poor play. So, uh, like I said, it's it's it sucks, but, you know, there's no better wake up call than, you know, what we had last night and, and today here with uh, with Daryl coming in. And um, so. You know, it's I played for Daryl before and, you know, I know what's coming in. And like I said, it's going to be a big wake up call for for all of us to be more consistent and better on a day to day basis. I, I mean, responsibilities in all of us, uh, not just on Wardo. Wardo did a great job when he came in, uh, you know, first assistant coach. And then uh, last year when he stepped up as a head coach, um, you know, I thought he did a great job with us and um, uh, I feel really bad what happened. Um, I'm very disappointed that we haven't played better and that we are just a 500 club right now. Uh, expect more from us and so did Wardo. And uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm the first to take the blame that we haven't been better. Um, and uh, it's on the players too, so yeah. As a player, um, it's a tough feeling. I think we all have that feeling of, of letting someone we cared about down. Who's a great, uh, great person and, and uh, great coach and a great guy to work with, I mean, it was easy to easy to talk to, easy to communicate with, and did a lot of good things for our organization. And so, um, you know, it was a it's tough to see a guy like that go. He's he's a, a great guy, and I'm sure he'll land somewhere quickly. Hopefully, you're gonna know exactly what he expects out of us. He's gonna be, uh, you know, he's a, he's a guy who there's no gray area. It's uh, there's one way to play, and he's gonna expect uh, a lot from us. He's gonna push us, and that's that's what we need as a group. And I think, uh, you know, I think guys can expect a guy who's really direct and, and tells you exactly what he wants from you.